Hey guys, welcome back to Shadow School Studios, and today we're going to be opening two packs I found at Walmart. Um, whether or not these are scams, we're going to find out, but yeah. Look like, uh, I don't know if that's Japanese, just for me to assume or not. I have no idea. We got some six haven packs and two promo cards in each. So let's go ahead and crack them open. Now each one of these was 15 bucks a piece. So already, I don't that's great. think these are worth it as a pack. Normally at my game store that I go to is like $5 still, even in Japanese. So already I am out money. There we go. There's my kind of caped with scotch tape. And I got a NYX Lotus. This is a, that's pretty good. That's pretty, I can do something with that. And we got a uh, Vito. Thorn of the Dusk Rose. So these are supposed to be promo cards. So they just look like uh, foils to me, I'll be honest. Alright, we're gonna. Now, Nyx Rose, I am excited about because I'm thinking I might just put that in my shade deck. Because there's a version of black. Or I might put it in my Aurelia deck. Just to get more mana. There we go. Don't even know what type of token that is. So, I'm not going to be able to know anything of these. So. No idea. Swamp. No idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. It's gonna go. It's our rare. Also, and there's that. So, yeah, actually, guys, I don't know anything about this. So, let me get my phone right quick and I'll see what I pulled. As soon as I can figure out where I put it, because I'm misplacing everything today. Going to TCG player. All right. So, we have an Augmenter Puglin, Pug List. Uh, as long as you control eight or more lands, uh, it gets plus five, plus plot, plus five, plus five. The other side uh, seems it won't scan. Hmm. I wonder if it'll let me. It's called Echoing Equation. Choose target creature you control. Each other creature you control becomes a copy of it until in the turn, except those creatures aren't legendary if the chosen creature is legendary. So there you go. So that one's a pretty cool card. Let's go back to this one. And let me see here. Hmm, once again, I think it's because of the playmat, maybe. Alright, I got the Biblplex. I didn't know that's what that was. Um, a generic tap two and tap, or uh, pay two and tap. Look at the top card of the library. If it's an instant sorcery, you reveal it and put it into your hand. If you don't put the card in your hand, you may put it into your graveyard. Activate only if you have exactly zero or seven cards in your hand. That's interesting. Hmm. I still can't read the that one very well. Let me see.
This one's not uh, wanting to read either. So we're gonna do this on uh, MTG Familiar because I really like th that one. So we're gonna go to Set Strixhaven, and the collector's number is 159. Excuse me, Strixhaven. One five nine. Yeah, that should be uh Nope, no results. Alright, cool beans. So I cannot identify half those cards, so let's open the other pack of this and see what we can find. Also these packs are very loose, unlike some other strip taken I've opened. Oh, that's a pest token. Okay. Um, the art card for this. Um, I've got that card before, but oh well. Forest. I think that summons inks. That's. Oh, that's cool. Whatever that is. I've seen that one before. Right, so this one. As these. Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and look at these later and see what we can find. Going to the second. Now I'm gonna laugh if it's another uh, Nyx Lotus. And... Hey, look what it is. So yeah, these are definitely a ripoff. Most definitely a ripoff. All right. Whoop. I will say I do like the art to the set very well. Don't. I think I've seen this one before, but I have not seen these two before. But there's another website I know of that will help us out with that. This one doesn't have a token. Don't know if that's good or bad. Ooh, just one of the dragons. Cool beans. So we got planes. No idea. Rare is that. Whoops, a daisy. Okay. Right, interesting. Interesting. Oh, we got Curry Keep. I won your mana pool, but that put a 1 1 red kobold creature named Kobold of Curry Keep into play. That's. A cool land, I'll be honest. I like that. That's pretty funny. Alright, so that's all four packs. Let me go to a website I know that has the listings of the sets. Do 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 do. Going down to more expansions. Okay, so let me go 
here and let me see what we got. So we're going to sort these kind of like this. So that one's there. That's uh, some different. That's there. That's a dual. Okay. As you can see, I also just don't really care about these. Like, we know what the Biblplex is. We know what the Puglamist card does. So, the Archive goes. I'm losing my mind today. Here. The full art, whatever this goes here, and this goes here. Okay. So, let me look. See if I can find the card we're looking for. So this is the one I'm looking for. And it is... Not on here. What? Alright, he's a Torrent Sculptor is what this one is. It has Ward 2. Um, when Torrent Sculptor enters the battlefield, exile an instant associate from your graveyard. Put a number of woman counters on it equal to half that card's mana value. Round it up. Interesting. Its other half is Flamethrower Sonata. Discard a card, then draw a card. When you discard an instant or sorcery card this way, Flamethrower Sonata deals damage equal to that card's man value. Target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Alright, figured out what that one is. Black and green is next. So it's going to be this. It's Pestilent Cauldron. Discard a card. Create a 1-1 one, one green pest. That has, when this creature dies, you gain a life. Pay one tap. Each opponent mills cards equal to the amount of life you gain this turn. And then you have four and tap, exile four cards from single graveyard, then draw a card. That's a very interesting card. I like that. This is a red common. Let me scroll down and see if I can find it. By the way, I am just going off artwork, not like collector's number. He did debate. This spell can't be countered. It deals 4 damage to a creature or a planeswalker. That's a decent removal. Alright. And a normal blue rare. It's a sphinx, I think. Or maybe it's a spectral bird. Who knows? It is a dream strix. It is a bird illusion. When it becomes target of a spell, sacrifice it. When it dies, learn. Interesting. Alright, so now for the normal of the uh, archive cards. So we're going to go down. This is Divine Gambit. Exile a target artifact, creature, or enchantment and opponent controls. That player may put a permanent from their hand onto the battlefield. Okay. Blue is next. Let me see. It is Counterspell. Counter target spell. Huh. Then we got this one. Which I do not see. There it is. Negate. Counter target non creature spell. Da da da. This one is a green one, but I cannot find the artwork. It looks cool. There you go. Regrowth. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Cool beats. And then we've got these ones here. Let me look.
I cannot I cannot find this one because it won't tell me what it is. So let me see. If I could find the artwork. Um, I think this one is just a fancy counter spell from what I can figure. Let me see if I can go on TCG and scan it. Come on. Hmm. Let me see here. It is a Japanese art counter spell. Okay. Okay. That's what that is. And. This is a uh, village rights right here. Cool beans. So. Not too bad, but nothing too spectacular. A lot of fun cards, but again, I think this one's a scam, especially since these aren't even promos. These are just foils. These are normal foils. So, yeah. Alright, guys. So, yeah, I think this is a scam. Uh, don't buy these. Don't buy this one. It's not worth it. Like, if you need an X Lotus and a Vito Thorn to Dusk Rose, woo, there you go. But I don't think you do. Buy almost just buy normal Strix Haven set boosters, man. Alright, guys, I'll see y'all next time. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.